In this question, you are being asked to decide which of the errors will require an entry to the suspense account to correct them. In the information provided, it tells you that the trial balance failed to agree and that they created a suspense account for the difference. They don't keep control accounts and then four errors are given for us to decide whether there is an impact on the suspense account. Looking at the first error, they tell us that in recording an issue of shares at par, cash received of 333,000 was credited to the ordinary share capital account as 330,000. We therefore have a difference on our share capital account. What should be there is 333,000, but what's been posted is 330,000. And so we have a difference of $3,000. The assumption is that the debit side of this transaction was recorded correctly. And so that there was a debit to cash for 333,000 and then just the credit to the share capital. Therefore, to correct this, we need to make the share capital balance bigger. And so to increase our share capital balance, we will need to credit share capital with the 3,000 and the other side of this transaction will go to the suspense account. In our second error, they tell us that cash of $2,800 paid for plant repairs was correctly accounted for in the cash book, but was credited to the plant asset account. So therefore, what they have done is to credit the cash account and to credit the plant asset account. What should have happened as it is a repair, would have been to debit the repairs expense account and credit cash. We therefore need to do two things. We need to remove the balance from the plant asset account and we also need to put it in the repairs account on the correct side. So we will need to debit the plant asset account to remove the balance for $2,800. We will then need to debit the repairs account for $2,800 and the other side to correct will be to credit the suspense account with $5,600. Our third error tells us that the petty cash book balance of $500 has been omitted from the trial balance. If we have the omission of an entire balance, then this will result in a suspense account balance. Our petty cash account is on the debit side. And so to correct this, we would need to show petty cash on the debit side for $500. The other side will then be to include the balance in the suspense account, which is a credit of 500. Our final error tells us that a check for $78,400 paid for the purchase of a motor car and was correctly accounted for in the bank, but was debited to motor vehicles as $87,400. So here we have a transpositional number and the difference between the two figures is $9,000. The bank account side was correctly accounted for and so it's only the debit to the motor vehicles account which needs to be corrected. Therefore, to adjust for this error, we will need to reduce the motor vehicles account by 9,000. So we're going to credit motor vehicles and then the other side is a debit to the suspense account. Reviewing our question again, we needed to decide which of the errors will require an entry to the suspense account to correct them. And we can see that the first, second, third and fourth entry all require an entry to the suspense account. Therefore, the correct answer is the third option.